All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is prepare our new game button. And that means that we're gonna need a new scene for that new game button to transition to. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and you see the low game screen. I'll go ahead and just get that turned off there, set that to inactive. All right, now in my project view down here, my asset folder, um, I'm going to create a folder and I'm just going to call it um, game name and then I'm just going to call it like tutorial. Okay. And then um, within this folder, I want to right click and create another folder and I'm just going to call it scenes. And within this folder, I'm going to actually create a scene. So I'm going to go right click, create, and then I'm going to look for the scene. Okay. And we're going to name this scene. We're just going to name this level or start level. Okay. So something simple. Great. All right. And I'm just going to hit save. Make sure you're always saving your project as you go through. Okay. So what we need to do is prepare our button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this button. And then I'm going to click on the on click event. And then I'm going to go to my C management and then I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy and paste this last one. I'm going to call this the new game button. And then in this new game button, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these actions. And this action is going to actually be a scene change. Okay. So what we're going to do is not sure what happened there, but what we're going to do is do scene change. You want us, what you want to do is select and make sure you saw this. You select load scene, don't select unload scene or load scene with player. We're not doing either one of those. We're going to do load scene. And then what we're going to do is the value is going to be the scene name. OK, so this one is going to be start level. Now you can type it in, but sometimes I'll just select it, copy, and then I'll just go back and paste that in there directly. OK, and we want to leave everything unchecked. So ideally what this is going to do is load this particular scene. Now there's nothing in this scene. We just made a empty scene basically. But if we were to actually click this button after um, we set it up, it's going to take us to that scene. Okay. So first thing we want to do now is go to the button and we want to drag our action onto the on click event. And we want to go to execute. Okay. And another thing you want to do actually is go to your edit or your build settings file, then then go to build settings. And then what you want to do is add open scenes. So what we want to do is add open scene. So the sample scene is what we created this menu in. So we'll probably end up renaming that. Um, and then what you also want to do is add the start level. OK, so you want to have the sample scene or whatever you named your scene and then the start level um, there. OK, now do not hit build or build and run. Not yet. All right. And so that should be good. And so let's go ahead and see if our new game button is going to take us where we needed to go. All right. So hit play. We know our load buttons are still working. Our settings are quit. Um, now, if we hit new game, look at that. So it took us, took us to the start level, and that's good. That's exactly what we want. It was almost instant. But if you wanted to put a little bit of pause on it, what you can do is remember actions work from the top down. So you can go in, type in the word wait. And if you take this where you put your hand or put the mouse over this little thing here, you can click and drag it above the other. OK, and you can collapse these as well, because eventually you're going to have a lot of actions as you get 
um, more familiarized with um, Game Creator and all the different things that you can do. It gets way more complicated as uh, as you grow in your knowledge, but generally um, it's actually just a very simple concept that can be more complex as you uh, get involved. So right now we just have two and I put this here, this is weight. So what this is going to do is I'm gonna put a two second wait so when we click new game it's going to wait two seconds and then go to the scene so let's check that out hit play hit new game one two boom perfect all right and so that's kind of how you can do that and there's many reasons why you might want to put a wait before that um maybe you have an animation on your button maybe there's other things going on maybe there's a sound that needs to play um, there's all types of things that you can do and we can dive into that stuff in later videos um, but for now we're going to keep it pretty simple so i'm going to go back to that new game button and i'm going to put that for a one second wait just to keep it there all right all right so now that we have this going to our scene let's actually go into that scene okay all right, so I'm gonna hit save on this scene. I'm gonna save the entire project. And I'm gonna also find the sample scene and I'm gonna move the sample scene um, elsewhere. But what I'm gonna do first is go into the start level scene. And then now that we're in the start level scene, what I'll do is click on scenes, sample scene, and I'm gonna rename this main menu. Okay. And so if I go back to main menu, everything should work just fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play just to verify that everything is good. As you can see, our canvas has all of our different menu things here. It's very clean hit play and if we hit load game settings quit everything is still working new game one second go perfect so that's working as it should and so now we're good to go I'm gonna go ahead and hit file save again and if I go to scenes what I want to do is go to my start level and then I'm going to scenes. I'm going to take this main menu and just put it in my game name tutorial folder scenes. And so now both are there just to make it simple. Okay. All right. So in this scene here, we have nothing. There's nothing in the view here. We This is the background there. If you want to see that, you can just click this here and you can see what your everything here with your skybox. So what we want to do is add a character into this scene. Okay, so we're going to go to, first I'm going to put some objects in the scene. I'm going to go 3D cube. And let's go ahead and get off of our rec tool and now use our regular tool. If you're new to 3D, um, I would definitely recommend checking out. Um, there's lots of uh, YouTube videos that explain how to navigate within unity um, but i assume that you've already played with unity before so um, let's see here i'm going to make this wider hit that w key all right great so what we're going to do is put a player right on top of this object here okay now game creator is makes it pretty easy to put a player into your scene and to get them moving and walking around pretty quickly and i've made an, uh, a video on this before but i will um, add that to this here so what we want to do is go ahead and you see the little create a player icon here it's a green diamond you just go ahead and click on that All right, and there's your player there. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him up there. Now, if you noticed, um, the player is a child of the cube. And the reason that is, is because I had the cube selected when I selected this create a player. 
So um, generally what you want to do is just select this and move it outside of that. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. And then what I want to do now is take my main camera and just position it in a way where I can see the player when I hit play. All right. So I'm going to take the main camera, go to game object, and I'm going to do align with view. All right. And then our player is there and it's really simple. Um, let's see here on the right side, you pretty much have everything you need to uh, manipulate your player. Um, it's controllable. You can jump. There's all types of things. Like I said, I do have a tutorial for the details or at least more detailed explanation of that. Um, and also you can go to game creators um, own YouTube page and they actually have um, lots of different uh, tutorials for that information. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play and, and we can just go ahead and move the player around and that's working out pretty good. All right, so in our next video, what we're going to do is set up a in-game menu and it's going to be really quick and simple, but it's just going to have a menu that pops up with a ability to save the game to resume the game and to go back to the main menu so i'll see you guys in the next video